Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy X No Sphere Grid. Last time we left off, we finished up on the Area Conquest and Species Conquest, finally. Area Conquest, there is Vorgon left. We have to take care of this with the summon, I'm afraid. It's probably possible to do without it, but I've never done it. I don't even know how it's going to be done. Species Conquest, I've got all of them down. Even the very boring Jumbo Flan and Ironclad, they're all done. Actually, Nega Elemental and Jumbo Flan are actually kind of fun to do. Ironclad just plain up sucks. Screw this guy. Yeah, everything is done, including Fafnir as well, on the Species Conquest. Now all that's left is the original creations. Now, original creations are... gonna start breaking my rules now. So, Earth Heater, Greater Sphere. These will be done under No Sphere Grid, No Summoning Rules. Catastrophe. It's and Thuban. They are possible to do without no summoning. Catastrophe will take like two hours. No, thank you. Thuban is lock based and it's just annoying. It's a doom fight, and I don't, I don't want to wait 255 turns for him to die. So I'm not going to do that. Nestlug and Ultima Buster, you will need summoning to do them. Like it's non-negotiable. You will need it. And Shinryu, it's just not possible on the No Sphere Grid. Now, after I fight all of these guys, I will edit in Nemesis, so I can actually fight him for the very first... Actually, no, I've done it once, but... I've done it once. So I am actually going to fight him without Sphere Grid. That's going to be fun. Now, I've already made my preparations for... I've not done... I've not prepared my Aeons yet. I'll do that. In a bit. Equipment for Earth Eater and Greater Sphere. Weapon doesn't really matter as long as you have first strike and triple overdrive. Armor, of course, everyone has auto haste, everyone has auto phoenix, everyone has death proof. Death proof for Earth Eater. He will need death proof because when when he's up, when he's on his feet, he will counter everything you do with Megaton Punch, which is instant death. So you want death proof for you know, the overdrive getting filled up. Because if you get insta-killed, you don't fill up your overdrive, but if you don't get insta-killed, you will take a ton of damage and get your overdrive. Auto Potion, you will need that for Greater Sphere. And I will explain more when we get there. Now, Dilly Dally enough, let's get started on Original Creations Part 1. Let's go Earth Eater. A guy that I fought thousands of times, usually with an Aeon, but... That's good. So, just saw me do trio. This is a strat. It does not have any party-wide attacks, only single ta single target. Now, you do not want to keep him on his feet for long. The reason I say this is because sometimes he attacks twice, and because of the priority list on the Auto Phoenix stuff, Riku is the lowest priority character. What does this mean? If Titus and Waka both get KO'd by the double punches, she will only revive one. And then there's the possibility of him just doing double punch again and just killing you outright. So, put him on his ass as soon as you can. And use Slice and Dice, please. For some reason, Attack Reels and Blitz Ace do not put him on his back. Only Slice and Dice. So, you want to use as many slices and dices as you can. It's fine. This is fine. Uh, you think you need like what two, three slices and dices to get him get him on his back? Don't remember how many you actually need. Hopefully this is enough. Hey, it's not. No it is. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Now, when he's like this, he's only gonna counter with Flare. And he does not do it twice, so... This is perfect. Okay. Hopefully he attacks Riku so that uh, I can have a... A Blitz Ace opportunity. When he's on his back, you wanna use Blitz Ace instead of Slice and Dice for more damage. Now he has like over a million HP, like... 
a million two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand. So he has a lot of HP. So, ah, oh. god damn it. Do it again. Okay, he's not gonna let. This is what I was talking about. Let's see what's gonna happen. She only revives one. I got lucky. I got a turn with her, so I can revive Titus. That is always the worst case scenario, is him double killing like Titus and Waka, because then you're in danger. And but now I need to get Trio up. Thankfully I'm gonna get it now. Can I get it? No, I can't. But I'm using the wrong weapon. This is what I want. Please kill Riku. Fudge. Like, if he doesn't want you to, to attack him, uh, he's not gonna let you. Just is what it is. I want slice and dice, man. That's what I need. I mean, you see, he doesn't want you to let you attack. You're not going to be able to. Now, if I'm lucky, he's going to attack Waka now. The reason I say this is because I want Riku to be able to use Trio, and I want Titus to get a turn ASAP. So, with any luck. No luck, of course. But this is fine, as long as he doesn't double kill the boys, I'm fine. I'm still in it. As you can see, like, two slice and dices were enough to get him on his back. And I've this what, like, what, my third attack reels? And look at him still not going on his back. Yeah. It just does not get him down. Which is very annoying. And I lost real. Can I like get a turn like I want to? Guess not. This is fine. This is fine. I can actually slice some dice finally. I need to get him on his back as soon as possible. So. Which means another slice of dice. And if I'm lucky, I'm gonna get it now. And I got it. Yep, got it. Get on your ass, please, boy. Do like this. Now again, Pamelaki is going to counterattack on Riku. Come on. We got this.
Alright, he's gonna let me do slice. It's fine. I'm gonna run out of Phoenix Suns at, at this rate. Killed Riku. Only Riku though. I did not need you to kill Titus as well. Again, Waka, why did you not revive? Why did you not revive Riku there? What the, f the hell? Is his priority like that low as well? So that's two that can fuck me over like this. That's two that I have to pay attention on. Jesus. Wept. Come on, Waka. Kill him. Please kill him. Yep, that's what happens. That is what happens. A ton of bull right there. Like that's... That's how you lose that fight. I have to be so close to. I mean, if Waka cannot revive... Titus and Riku, depending on when they die. I might try and do this fight without Waka. I might just try to do that without Waka. So I need to know, do gems work towards getting him down? Just die. Please just die. I'm surviving, but I'm not doing a lot of damage because most of it has been... Slice and dices, but then again, I'm using the gem, so Riku does not have trio, so there's no point using it. Ah, crap. Alright, that's the case. Now you see how the fight goes and you see how fast it can go to crap. So, I will. Honestly, I'm just gonna keep trying. And I will see you when he gets beat, I guess. Uh, he should not be this difficult to be. That's fine, I'll just set it out. I'll just set this out and I'll just. 
when you see me next, it's gonna be after he dies, so I'll be right back.
Okay, I needed a bit of luck, but we got him. Fortune Sphere. That's what you're gonna farm for so many times. Now, I am gonna say this, farm that guy with an Aeon. So that you can actually overkill, perfectly Ultima, uh, not Ultima, sorry, Anima. So that, you know, you can farm him and get two Fortune Spheres with an overkill. Okay, uh, that's out of the way. 